name is Rachel Otto, and I'm a member of Team Row. And today, we'll be sharing our early development of our AI herb trainer. In this presentation, we'll start with the product description, then marketability, why our product will be a success. We'll share our problem statement and objectives and the intended users and uses. In the background section, we'll share our research on similar products. In the intellectual property section, we'll share our research on patents for similar technologies. We'll discuss an ethical consideration the AI Herb Trainer presents, as well as how we incorporated our vision for the good life in our product development. And lastly, we'll share our final concept that we've developed for the AI Herb Trainer. Our product is an ERG trainer. An ergometer, also known as an ERG, is a workout machine that simulates rowing. Your form while working out determines the quality of the workout. Our ERG trainer will use a camera to collect videos of users working out on an ERG, and then the AI model that we develop will analyze this footage and provide advice to users via a phone app. It's estimated that an increase in physical activity could result in global savings of $27 billion annually. It's important that people work out more, and as they do so, the ERG has become a more popular workout machine. However, it requires proper form to ensure efficiency and to minimize risk of injury. Proper form is difficult for rowers lacking access to coaches or team resources, so our AI ERG trainer will analyze how users work out and provide the advice they need to improve. This will help people use the ERG more safely and more efficiently. To get this product to consumers, Team Row will launch a Kickstarter. This will provide funding for production and tier rewards will be used to make initial sales of our ERG trainer. Our problem statement is comprised of our product description for our AI ERG trainer as well as the following objectives. Our first objective is the ERG trainer should be trustworthy. It should be safe to use while working out, and it should be accurate and adaptable to each user. Our ERG trainer should be easy to use. Uh, it should be easy to use while working out and also while setting up. Our ERG trainer should be small and lightweight. And finally, it should be marketable. It should have a low cost and an attractive design. Next up, my teammate will present the intended uses and users and the background. My name is Rangel, and today I will be conducting the following sections. Uh, the first one is the intended users and intended use. The intended users for a road, for a rowing project are individuals and amateur professionals on, on rowing, uh, rowing coaches and rowing teams, and rowing clubs and training centers. The intended uses for this is providing instant feedback on the rowing technique, uh, offering data-driven insights uh, for performance improvement and enhancing the safety and reducing the injury risk to better form. The next section that I'm going to talk about is the background. So for this one, uh, we analyzed three projects that are similar to us, so have a similar approach, and we just do like a summary of how ours is going to be different than them. This one is a rigorous and integrated online monitoring system, uh, as well for the performing of the rowing technique. So this one, what it does is it has an active fat that goes under the seats of the rowers and it goes on the boat as well. So it, it catches the move to kinematics and it sends the move into the into the rowers and then send the feedback. So how this one is different for ours is because in the artifact has to go under each rower player on the each rower player seat. So let's say if we have eight rowers on the boat, he, he move, he, we will need eight artifacts of these. So the production cost and maintenance of these will be really high when we compare it to it. Uh, how this one is different from ours is that ours is just a camera and it sends the information to a computer-based system. And then from the computer-based system, it sends it to the, to the rower, so as a live feedback. The next, one, the next one is a real-time AR rowing coach. This one is similar to ours. This one uses a, a AR, a AR vision machine. So it's a camera that goes connected to the computer. How this one is different from ours is because this one uses deep learning and ours uses machine learning. So machine learning is, is it, it provides it's less data and it provides a faster uh, train model than deep learning. And the last one is a machine vision and big data during sports. That is actually training uh, interpersonal mode. Thank you. Welcome everyone. Let's dive into it.
Today, I'll take you through our approach to intellectual property in the development of the AI Air Trainer. In an era where technology rapidly evolves, the significance of intellectual property becomes even more crucial. It's a fine balance between standing on the shoulder of giants and charting our own course. Our dedication lies in trading responsibly, ensuring our advancements in AI and biomechanics respect existing intellectual achievements. Our first consideration is the Neural Simulation Environment Patent by OpenAI. This groundbreaking patent is designed to enhance machine learning model training by generating pseudo labels for unlabeled digital video data, primarily aiding tasks like action recognition and decision making. In contrast, our AI trainer takes a specialized route. We leverage real-time biomechanical analysis to provide immediate feedback to rowers. Our focus on physical training and individual performance through a different technological approach clearly setting us apart. Turning our attention to the multi-order feature interaction target detection model by CCI China, we delve into a patent that improves the target detection through feature interaction analysis. Why its advancements in detecting and interacting with targets and video data are unique, the Earth Trainer diverges significantly in both purpose and technology. Our system uses AI not for target detection, but for analyzing and improving human motion in a specific exercise context, that's rowing. By integrating both estimation and AI-driven feedback, we ensure our users receive insights to improve technique and avoid injury, steering clear of the patent's domain through our focused application on physical health and fitness. Now, we'll talk about ethical considerations. Hello, I am Jose Marero, and I will be presenting our ethical considerations. To start, I'll share our journey in our ERG trainer project, where we're innovating and upholding the highest standards of ethical engineering. Our guiding light has been the IEE Code of Ethics, which ensures that our project excels in performance and ethical conduct. We've integrated these principles in every aspect of our work, from data collection to algorithm development, ensuring we respect and enhance the well-being of our users. In navigating the intricate web of relationships between technology and society, the IEE Code of Ethics has been indispensable in helping us maintain public trust and uphold the dignity of all stakeholders. Now, our project encountered a significant ethical dilemma in data acquisition for our AI training, which is crucial for enhancing growing performance. We had four options. To scrape the web for publicly available footage, hire individuals to take footage of themselves, use volunteer footage, or just create the footage ourselves. Each of these options present each unique challenges. After careful consideration, we chose to use footage from volunteers as it aligns with both rights and Cantonian ethics, striking a balance between practicality and moral integrity. This decision helps exemplify our commitment to ethical engineering, ensuring our data collection process respects the right individual privacy e rights. Beyond technology, our pro project is deeply rooted in the vision of a good life, where technology and tradition and exist, coexist harmoniously. We envision the Earth Trainer as a tool that respects and enhances the unique philosophies of rowing communities globally. We aim to empower athletes and coaches with real-time, data-driven feedback, improving training experiences and performance outcomes. In doing so, we are committed to motive innovation and the cultural fabric of rowing, both locally and globally. Our project a step towards a future where technology and tradition unite to create an enriched sporting experience that is accessible, empowering, and universally valued. And with that, I'll pass over to Brandon, who will be presenting our final concept design. Hi, my name is Brandon Cooper. Welcome to the final concept section of our presentation, where we spotlight the pinnacle of our design process. In the next few slides, we will navigate through the carefully crafted elements that make our ERG training solution innovative and truly transformative. Comparing our initial options, starting with option one, we envisioned a high precision system using a depth sensing camera. It promised accuracy, but at the cost of higher expense and energy needs. With option two, we shifted towards affordability and scalability with a 2D camera and leveraging cloud processing. This option highlighted cost efficiency and adaptability, though it sacrificed depth detail and required stable internet. These early explorations were crucial in guiding us towards a balanced solution, marrying innovation with practicality. Building off, of, building off of these foundations, we developed option three, integrating the best of our initial ideas. 
Utilizing a 2D camera with an ESP32 microcontroller, we crafted a budget-friendly and efficient system without sacrificing performance. This approach offers immediate feedback through effective motion capture and quick processing. Focusing on system responsiveness and user accessibility, option three provides a private and tailored training experience. This strategy meets our goals and enhances practicality, preparing for a smooth transition to the implementation phase of our Earth Trainer system. Our user interface is the bridge between com complex technology and our users. We've stripped back the complexity to provide a simple, intuitive experience that delivers immediate feedback. It's customizable, empowering users to tailor their training sessions according to their unique needs. The interface is more than just a tool. It's a personal trainer providing insightful and actionable analysis. It's about making the sophisticated simple. In conclusion, to combat the rise in health-related issues from sedentary lifestyles and chronic diseases, we're developing an advanced yet accessible herb training solution. Our herb trainer not only supports cardiovascular and muscular health, but also stands to reduce the economic burden of global healthcare costs. It's designed to be affordable, precise, and adaptable to each user's unique rowing style, ensuring improvements in form and efficiency for everyone. To review, in the product description, we overviewed our AI-based ERG trainer. In marketability, we discussed our need, the user needs, and Kickstarter marketing. We reviewed our problem statement and objectives. Intended uses and users focused on rowers, coaches, and clubs. The background section compared our machine learning advantage to other existing products. For, for intellectual property, we highlighted our project's distinct patent features. Ethical considerations led us to use volunteer footage. The good life reflects our Earth Trainer's fusion of technology and tradition for better rowing. And lastly, the final concept reveals option three, a high-performing accessible Earth Trainer. Thank you.